It's a really good wine. Mm. It's strong. Oh, it's strong. It's strong. I was gonna say. What's up everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in beautiful Yerevan, Armenia. Today I'm gonna to give you a tour of the capital. We're gonna start off right here at Mother Armenia, which is a huge statue of this woman, Armenian woman, overlooking Yerevan. As you can see, that is the capital, huge city, the largest city in the country. And behind us in the backdrop, we have Arat Mountain, which is actually in Turkey, and that is where Noah's Ark landed. And today, basically, we're gonna give you a tour, right? So we're starting here, then we're gonna go see a lot of different sites around the city, and then after that, we're gonna go try some delicious wines and eat some incredible Armenian food. Are you guys ready? Let's go explore Yerevan. When you come here to the mother of Armenia, there's a few different things you have to see. First thing you gotta see is right here we have the eternal flame. So this is the eternal flame for the people who lost their lives during World War II. If you guys didn't know, this country was part of the Soviet Union, so they went with the Russians, and obviously these are the guys who lost their lives, gave their lives for the war. Over here we have an incredible view over Yerevan. Beautiful view, you can see at a mountain to the very back. You know, it's, it's a little bad right now, I mean, in terms of weather, so it's like raining over there, so we don't see it clearly. You see a little bit to the left at the smaller part of the mountain, and we have a beautiful, beautiful view of Yerevan. They were actually showing me photos of this with snow. It looks incredible. Wow, really, really gorgeous. So this is the alley dedicated to the heroes of the World War II. So this is called Victory Alley, right? Yeah. Victory Alley. Yeah. The names of the heroes just on this. Wow, so there's like, I guess these are like big plaques, right? Yeah, yeah. So you have one, two, three, four, Kachkar. five, six. Armenian, do you know Khachkars? No. Uh, Khachkar is a cross stone. Cross stone? Armenian cross stone. Carved cross on the stone, usually. Wow. And this stone is two trees. Mm -hmm. and, and it has the grapes. And it has the grapes there. It's ornaments, Armenian ornaments, right? Grapes have a shape of grape. And by the way, this is a, a volcanic... Rock? Uh, uh, yeah, volcanic wow. rock. We call it tuf, tough stone, I guess. Tough stone. Tough stone. It's beautiful. And, uh, and it's all in Armenian, all this, yeah, right? Armenian, yeah, well, it's all the names. These are the names of those people. And because this was constructed during Soviet times, they have half of it in Russian, half of it in Armenian. Same names, they just have the translation. I think one of the coolest parts about this area is that you have all these Soviet, like, guns and machinery. I mean, look at this. This is like a cannon. What is this, guys? This is like... <laughs> Whoa, this is huge. Division gun M1942, 76 millimeter gun. Look at this gun, huge gun. What? Insane. So over there we have a plane. We have, I think that's a missile right there. On the other side we have another cannon. It's a cannon slash gun. So many things here. And as you can see, I mean, the building is like, uh, looks very Soviet, like old school Soviet style. And it also still has like the star, the Soviet like symbol. And at the bottom, you can see all this, like they're, like the way they decorate the, the doorway is all grapes. And it's actually a museum. It's not open right now, but there's a museum here as well. Yeah, engravings, yeah, ornaments that are used uh, on the buildings. If you're into like military equipment or World War II history, you should definitely come here just to check out these like huge tanks, the fighter jet over there, the cannons, and this one. You were saying that when you were a kid that you'd come here and just yeah. climb the top of this? Yeah, yeah? I was climbing it. It was such a fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I I actually saw kids over there jumping on one of yeah. them and I'm like, oh my god, it's crazy, but I mean, it's just a normal day here, right? Just yeah. come, stay on top of this. I mean, obviously you shouldn't even touch yeah. it now, but wow. <laughs> this is an infantry fighting vehicle. I mean, this is a bad <laughs> cannon. 003, Soviet. This is everything Soviet here. Yeah. Well, wow. okay guys, let's make our way to the car and continue our tour of Yerevan. We are in the air of Kafeshjad, center of the art, and we are standing just in front of the statue uh, to the prominent uh, Armenian architect, Alexander Tamanyan. Basically, Armenians love making statues of like people who are like important in their history, yeah, right? Who contributed. Who contributed to the society. And then at the very end, wow, that is incredible. What is that? This is uh, called, uh, this monument is called Cascade and uh, it uh, resembles a uh, waterfall, they say, made of stones. <laughs> and this is the master plan developed by Tamanyan. So this is a line made out of tires, and it's part of his collection. Really, really amazing work here. It really is incredible. I've never seen something like this made out of tires. Wow. They also have a piece from Fernando Botero. Fernando Botero is a Colombian artist, and he always does like really like 
like chubby figures and this one's actually a Roman warrior and it was done in 1985 really nice so lots of pieces of art here right yeah it's just like never-ending art and also inside actually. also inside, inside. because so. inside there is a museum so it's like an open-air museum. museum and then an indoor and inside museum inside yeah. okay teenagers a lot of cafes is very very beautiful over there it really feels super european this yeah. so it gives you like yeah, a sense good. that you're like a western europe country you know this feels like a more like right there feel like paris a little bit yeah we're making our way up the staircase and there's actually 572 steps all over the top we did like the first steps and I'm like out of breath. I mean, it's really, really steep. And this is all actually travertine stone, travertine. So it's not marble, it's travertine. And as you can see, you know, when it rains, when there's dirt that gets into like all the little nooks and crannies, it actually gives it like this like ancient look. And that's what the architect wanted. But unfortunately, the government cleans it up like every year and it like makes it spotless again. And what I like the most about this area, as you can see, lots of fountains, beautiful work. And right here we have like, you know, a sculpture, you know, a head halfway in the pond. Really, really nice. Look at this. Look at all this. And fountains, never any fountains. And this is actually from David Brewer Will, Great Britain, the visitor, 2011. So it's a beautiful spot. I highly recommend coming here, seeing this one in particular. I mean, very empty, you know, all around here. A lot of tourists, a lot of like kids hanging around. But here it's like empty, it's calm. And I just love the sound, the sound of the fountains. Wow. So Lucy is gonna be my guide over the next like 10 days, starting on Monday. She's gonna be with me like eight days straight. Yeah all over the country and you were saying there's an escalator here I think so it's all the way to the top you're right, you're right yeah awesome so you don't have to walk all the way to the top so what we're gonna do now we're gonna take an escalator go all the way to the top and then from there get views and come back down and here it is so on the way up you also have pieces of art here to the left wow so basically this entire art collection is throughout this entire complex so this is not one super long escalator so it's an escalator you walk a little bit another escalator walk a little bit so it's like seven or eight escalators in a row and you can also stop at each one of these and see another like little plaza with a fountain with more sculptures more art so there's never ending art over here every time you make your way up the escalator to the left you'll see art we made it here to the top and from here as you can see we get epic incredible beautiful views of Yerevan look at this so the sky as you can see it's raining in the far end over there we have the mountain and yeah this is it whoa this is just wow beautiful i love the, what they did here they put like different flowers different plants all the way down you can see you have like you know a few different skyscrapers like 40 30 40 foot uh towers and you have smaller buildings in the center so there's all the center right here in the middle and yeah this is it an opera house is right in front of us you can see a lot of color tones in yerevan but you should know that it's the same type of the stone. It's Tufa stone. It's volcanic stone we have in Armenia. And mostly you find pink Tufa in Yerevan because our architects so very bright, very shiny capital. So that is why we have like pink Yerevan and that provides the pink Tufa stone we have in our country. And by the way, I definitely recommend bringing a little sweater like she has. Like they all have sweaters. I'm freezing right now. <laughs> it's, it's not really, really that cold, but it's getting colder and the sun's going down. I think the sun sets again in an used hour. To sun in Yerevan, you know? I know, I know. I mean, this morning it was hot. It was sunny okay. and hot. And now it's like completely different. As you can see, I mean, over there you have the sun setting. In the backdrop, we have the mountain, Arat Mountain in Turkey. And over there it's like, you know, raining like crazy right now. And yeah, it's basically it. That's the center of Yerevan. This is beautiful, the opera house at the very end. All right, guys, so we're done here. We're actually gonna make our way to Republic Square. Yes. And Republic Square, she was telling me, is like the real, like, dead center of Yerevan. That is ground zero. It's a huge square with government buildings, and it has a singing fountain, a singing fountain. Okay, Let, let's go see what that is. This is Abovyak Street, and uh, it's a very popular one for shopping, for just walking, and spending some beautiful evening. David, welcome to the Northern Avenue. <laughs> Northern Avenue? Yeah. It's... So what is the Northern Avenue? Northern Avenue connects Opera with Republic Square. Oh wow, so Opera's at the very end. It's all, it's all pedestrian, right? It actually reminds me of the street in Belgrade. Very similar, yeah. uh, like a pedestrian friendly street. 
Only pedestrians, yeah. lots of restaurants, shops, yeah, retail, shops, souvenirs, yeah. Yeah. lots of food. Lots of so offers at the end. So yeah, I mean, this is this is the street, guys. I mean, it's really packed right now on this side, getting closer to Republic Square. It is jam-packed, and this is a mix of tourists and locals. Lots of tourists from Russia, a lot of tourists, but they're also Italians, Spanish, and Americans. They were actually telling me Americans is like the number one market. Americans and, uh, and Russians, right? This is the two uh, like top. Yeah, they're top markets. Top markets, okay. Yeah, so if, you get, if you're trying to come to Armenia from the US, you go through Europe or you go through Qatar and then get here. That's sort of the way you get here. And it's Republic Square, right? Wow. This is a souvenir shop within the car. Inside the what? This is crazy. Souvenir, yeah, just it's closed now. It's a souvenir shop in a car. Yeah, he just opens car. the door and you can see all the <laughs> This is awesome. Can I write my name? Do you have a marker? Yeah. Or? Um, Probably not. So basically people just write their names all, all over the car. Souvenir shop in a car. Crazy. We are now in the center of Yerevan in the Republic Square and all around you can see beautiful buildings uh, of different colors. This is a famous Armenian top stone. Uh, it's, it is of orange, rose and the colors. So uh, most of them are government buildings. Uh, one is uh, a hotel building. The National Gallery building. And that's the National Gallery building? Okay, so let's cross over there. Let's go see the National Gallery building and see the fountain. I mean, that's like where everybody's gathering, right? That's like the real center center of it. Yeah. Behind me, we have the National Gallery and the History Museum. I recommend you come to Republic Square, either sunrise, beautiful light, or sunset like we did right now, golden hour. It's actually just past sunset, so we just missed it. But you should definitely come here also at 8 p.m. to see the fountain, dancing fountains. So basically these fountains, they dance with the music, right? So then everybody here will be dancing. You dance every time? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think we're gonna go now to a street, a wine street to have dinner. It's literally a street with all these places that serve wine, only wine, Armenian wine, no other wine. Maybe some brandy too though. <laughs> okay, and, wh and what's the name of the street? Sarian Street. Sarian Street. Sarian Street, it's famous wine street. How many wine spots are there? Oh, I cannot tell you the number. Oh wow, that many? <laughs> There are many, but I, I might have that many wines, <laughs> endless wines. <laughs> no, I might have some pomegranate wine again though. That's the best, the best. <laughs> Sarian Street, Sarian Street, Wine Street. You have a lot of wine restaurants and bars right here. Wine Rest, over there. What is that? There's a hostel, another wine room. How many How many wine places are there? You said like 20 plus? So right here we have In Vino, which is like the first wine place that opened here. So it's like a wine bar slash market inside. So you can buy wine or you can sit outside and drink wine. We're gonna go inside and get some wine. Before that, I wanna tell you that in May, they have like wine days. And when they have wine days, they literally shut the street down and it's like a wine fest here, right? Like wine festival. People are just drinking wine, eating food, and getting, getting drunk. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go inside. All right, so I'm in In Vino, and this is Nalik. Nalik is explaining to me that basically they have a mix between the old world, new world. So they have like, you know, Western Europe, Italian, uh, French, Portuguese wines, and they also have like from the Americas. And then they also have amazing Armenian wines. Sure. And you can try them by the glass as well here. Of course. So you can try them by the glass or you can buy. So it's a mix, you know, wine bar slash wine market. And we're gonna try some Armenian wine. What are we trying? So, Actually, we have to try this Aluria, which is made from two Armenian grape varieties. The first one is Hachtanak, which, which, which was made from uh, crossing very old Armenian uh, grape variety, which is called 40 Years of October, in the memory of October Revolution. And this is what I love about going to countries that produce wines. They usually have like their own grapes. I've been to a few places in the Balkans that have their own grapes, I've been to Moldova, and here they also have different grapes as well, right? So this one has three different grapes, all Armenian grapes. I can't wait, it looks super red. Mmm, oh, this is different. Mmm, it's, it's definitely not sweet. Like, not sweet at all. But uh, I like it, good body. Wow, it's a really good wine. It's strong. It's strong. I was gonna say. I didn't want to say it too much, but it's, it's a strong wine. 
you have that whole bottle, it's gonna be a little crazy. Yeah, after the sweet one, this is really good though. I mean, it's a full body wine. I think this goes great probably with a steak, you know, some red meat. Wow, what a wine. Highly recommend it. So definitely when you come to the street, go to Invino and try some wine. <laughs> solid, solid. Next place? Yeah. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you. Bam. Thank you bye. <laughs> bye, bye. This is called Wine Time Restaurant. And we're going... Wine Time Boskevas. Wine Time Boskevas. Boskevas is uh, a place for... It's a wine place, I would say. Okay, okay. So here at Wine Time Restaurant, you can either sit outside on the terrace or go inside. They have a few different dining rooms, and we chose this one because it has an incredible display of wines. They have a mix of, you know, you know, international wines and Armenian wines. And you were saying that there's a type of like a uh, wine they have. Which one is it? It's Voskevas. Okay. Uh, and uh, the type of grape is Voskehat. Voskehat is the grape. Voskeva, Voskeva is the is the brand, so the winery. So they have white wine, they have red wine. This red one looks really good, and it's not really bad. I mean, this right here is roughly eight U.S. dollars for this bottle. It's so really affordable. So if you want to get a bottle of wine, that's what it costs in this restaurant. It's not, you know, they don't up the price. And wow, endless wine, endless wine. How's the food? The food's amazing too. Yeah. I'm sure it's Armenian food. We got meats, we got salads. Let's eat. Yeah. All right, guys. So I'm starting off with a Voske Vaz. Looks amazing. Super delicious red wine. Let's see. Mm. Oh, this is semi sweet. Mm, it's amazing. Oh, it's way lighter than the other one. The other one was crazy, like alcoholic. This one's super light. Oh, it's perfect. Genas. 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 Mine is great. I like it. It's light. Yeah, it, it's a little sweet, but it's dry. It's not like a. It's not like crazy. Crazy. All right, guys. So we're starting off with four different Armenian dishes. We got beetroot paste. We have fig paste. We have grilled peppers, oh that looks amazing, with tomato grill as well. And then we have the dolmas, and these are called dolomos, or how do you say them? Dolma. Dol just dolma? So in, in Greek, it's dolmatis, and it's basically, it's beef with some rice, and it's wrapped with grape leaves. I love this, literally, sorry, I'm gonna just do this, I love it. Mm. Oh my god. It's too good. Yeah. That's my french fries. I don't eat french fries. I eat that all day. Mm. So I'm gonna go in here and get some of the fig paste. Put a little bit here. Mm. Basically like a jam. Mmm. Very nice. I'm going right over here. And this one's the beetroot. I love you, Rubel. They're laughing at me, but I'm really enjoying it. I love it. So this is basically sour cream. So we get a little bit of sour cream, put it on top of the bread, right? That's what you're supposed to do. Right there. How good that looks. Wow. Mmm. Sweet. The other one, not salty, but but gives a good, good balance, right? Dolma, is Muen dolma. So the dolma with sour cream. Mmm. Well, now I see it. So you got the beef, you got some rice. So it's more beef than rice. Some people do more rice than beef. I like that they put way more beef than rice. This is the best thing on earth. Mm -hmm. So eggplant, tomato, and then a pepper. Yeah. And then this is what? More sour cream or? Uh, Armenian sour cream. <laughs> Armenian sour cream? Rejan, it's called. Rejan. Rejan. So I got the eggplant and the sour cream. Mmm. I love the Rajan. Wow. Mm. Nice cream, a little, a little dense. It's not like too buttery. Oh, the eggplant. <laughs> now the, the beetroot's really nice. I mean, I go in, the, the only problem is this flatbread cracks mm -hmm. way too easily, mm -hmm. so it's hard to get it, so you get to go in and really like... The difference how you... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. So same brand, but different type of wine. It's dry wine. Wow. This is way better. You gotta try it. You wanna try it? Uh, Okay. <laughs> you should try the tomato, it's very nice. It's Grilled tomatoes. 
green? You call it green when you make like... Genuts. Let's go try another wine somewhere else. Okay, so we finished up at the restaurant and now we're looking for a bar, restaurant, anything that's outdoors we can get some wine. We're actually walking towards the opera, right? Yes. And then there you're saying there's a lot of other places that are open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open, open air places. Open air places. Yeah, we're just looking for a glass, nightcap. Okay, so we made it here to Armat Cafe Restaurant. This is also like, it's a restaurant slash wine bar. We got some delicious wines from Armenia. Cheers. 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 Let's try it. This is another strong one. This is a strong, <laughs> super strong wine. It's good though. It's a full body, you know, that's what I feel. Full body is another thing you can eat with a steak, you know, red meat. <laughs> okay, so we had an incredible day exploring Yerevan, the capital of Armenia. We did a few different things today. We started off at the Mother Armenia, top of the hill. Incredible view from there, over Yerevan. We also saw some of the tanks, some of like the military equipment the Soviets left behind. We saw the mother at the top. And then after that, we went down to the Cafe Jan Center for the Arts. So basically, it's like sort of like a long square, lots of restaurants, places for to drink, lots of art in the center. And then after that, you make your way up the hill. You can either take the escalator or take the staircase, like 579 steps to the top. And from there, you get way more views of Yerevan, like really, really beautiful views. And from there, you really see what it's like because you're in the city. And then after that, we went over to Republic Square. I actually love those buildings a lot. I mean, it's really like a historical spot. Government buildings mixed with hotels, great places to like chill, relax. Uh, you know, you can go there at night and see the fountain show. So you see the base of the fountain like dancing with the music. And then after that, we came to the wine street. We tried some wine in Invino, tried some delicious wine there. After that, we went to the wine time restaurant, Bosquedas, which uh, is an amazing restaurant. Lots of wine there. Uh, we basically just had a lot of appetizers mixed with wine and we walked over a little bit more and we made it here to this place and we're trying some incredible wine. And guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, comment below, yes. subscribe to my channel. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Armenia. Bye bye. That was good.